I ended up in the emergency room and I was looking for domestic violence shelters. Everything was filled up. And I definitely did not want to go to a big city by myself with my two children. Um, I had no one. I had nothing. A lady at the domestic violence shelter, she mentioned Christian Aid Center. Christian Aid has helped me get my self-love back. Without Christian Aid Center, I would not be where I'm at right now. Christian Aid Center is here to provide restoration and compassionate care to those in need. Our main mission for the Christian Aid Center is to show the compassion of Christ by meeting the needs of people when they are homeless and give some hope and provide a way to break out of the cycles of homelessness. To help provide an environment of dignity and hope, be able to provide the structure that helps break some of those cycles, so the accountability and the daily routines that helps them get out of addictions and dysfunctional relationships. We have on average 43 people that spend the night here, and we also serve over 103 meals a day. What we desire to do is to reach each one where they're at and to try to meet their needs. I've been involved with Christian Aid Center for 14 months now. The Healing Home Program has a variety of different classes that are required. There's two things that help keep this place going, the monetary donations and the volunteer hours. We have over 250 volunteers that come in every single month, whether it's coming in every morning and cooking breakfast, driving our vans to go pick up bread and pastries from the supermarkets. People come in and provide the nursing care, provide the barbershop, the Bible studies, the chapel services. Ever since I came here, I volunteered. I have been doing kitchen duty. People come up to me and say, you know, your pancakes remind me of my mom's. Faith really is the foundation of hope to change, understanding that there is purpose. All of our women in our program have a mentor, someone that meets with them weekly and is kind of just being a support system to them. I consider it walking through our messy lives together. You know, you kind of sit out thinking you're going to help heal somebody, but I've been getting healed just as much as I've been doing any healing. Jesus is what changes lives. I love it that there's a place here that's faith-based, that's meeting the needs of the community, because that's what it's about. We are set up to really help single women and then women that have their children with them. For most of the last year, we've been completely at capacity with a wait list. And on average, we've turned away about eight women a week, and that doesn't include their children. Our buildings are old. They're split up all over campus. They don't have enough space, and they don't have the type of modern building that I think a lot of people would consider safe enough. Oh, I think one building would definitely encourage that support. That's what we need. We need each other to break our cycles. These guys don't have much. Even dignity is a tough thing for them. The family housing unit is greatly needed in this community. Currently, we have a Gift of Grace campaign this building is an ambitious total of about $4.8 million needed to take down our current infrastructure and build this building. Our passion and desire is to see people get out of homelessness. We want to see them thrive. We've looked at you know, what goes into administrative costs and what goes into the program. And, and you can come down here any day and see what the money's going for. You're not wasting money because the community's doing it. Yeah, I'm probably looking into culinary schools. It's just wide open right now. The main thing is like embracing us as a family and not just me. We each have a voice and we encourage each other. We're doing things as a family now. As before, I was very isolated, seemed to always run. And now it's like looking it dead in the eye and say, you know, I can get through this. I can do this with support from my friends, from my family, from my mentor, from the Christian Aid Center. You know, I want new adventures, new dreams.